Well, there it is, the Texas Instrument Pro. I'm going to run through a couple of basic modes on this thing to get started. But first of all, what I want to show here is this mode button. When we hit that, that will bring us to the mode screen. You can see where it's flashing, then that is what we can select. I don't think I've ever not had it in that. Always usually kept it with normal. That's what we all kind of think of in regular numbers. But if you want to express those things exponentially, you can do it scientific and engineering. This one here, if we select float, that carries that decimal way too far out. So I usually go about four. That'll get you through most everything. But floating takes up a lot of space on the screen and uh, you're not able to display, see the stuff that you like. Scrolling on down, we can go real numbers. And the next one on over is rectangular form and polar form. I'm going to keep that in polar form. You see how it's highlighted? See, well, let me show you here. If I wanted to go to rectangular, I go down here and I hit the enter button. It highlights it, and then if I was satisfied with that, I could hit that clear button. Anyway, there's a couple of other little things on the bottom part of the mode screen. Never have messed with those. So scrolling back up, I have that selected. When I want to select that, I hit enter. Oops, go back here, try one more time. Selected. It's been highlighted and selected. Anyway, I'm going to go over here to my polar form, select that, and then back out of it. So I've got everything set. Oop, clear. So here, what's pretty cool about this is I've got a value here, this first line, in rectangular. And typically you'd have to go to a rectangular and it's a bit of a pain in the butt to convert some of this stuff. Anyhow, this thing will do it for you. I'm going to take that value of 30.794. I'm going to add that in my plus. And J, the mysterious J, over here, our J, if you hit that one, two, three. I guess this is I. So on here, I is J. And then we put in one, five, point, seven, seven, nine. That's a rectangular form. Now back on that mode screen, we had selected polar. It'll take that, and we hit this enter. Hit the enter here. Boop. And then, voila. We have a polar form. The equivalent. Anyway, next, I'm going to clear that out. Now, it doesn't really clear stuff out. It's still there. If I could scroll back up, it's still there. It stores it. But it just clears, wipes the screen clean. You know, it's kind of a, never gets rid of it, but oops, go down to the bottom here. I'll just clean the screen up. Now, next, sometimes these can be a big pain in the butt. And you're given a couple of polar forms and you want to add them. And typically what they have you do is take those polar forms, turn them into rectangular forms, add them, turn them back to a polar form. Don't worry about that. This guy will t do that for you. Anyway, let's see. I'm going to take those values of uh, 34 point six zero zero eight and then I want to add that angle there at 27 degrees well we display that we hit the second function and you can see the little second second function has illuminated or is being displayed up there so then complex Select that, and it gives us some other little options. 
and you can scroll through them. There's our angle. Now you can hit enter and that'll select it or you just hit one. Boom, there's an angle that's already been put in that for us. Then we can put in our 27.129. That's that first one. We want to add that. We want to add another angle to that magnitude and angle. So, add it, plus, and I'm going to put in here 12, it's my magnitude, and then, again, my function, second function key, boom, illuminated, <clears throat> complex, brings up that screen, select one, there's our little angle, and then, punch in our angle of 70. 4.1234. There it is. Hit the enter button, and there it has added them. Just like that. Added those. There it is. Well, anyway, those are a couple of basic functions. And uh, rectangular, polar, polar, rectangular with the modes.